Cool. As y'all can see, it's about 44 degrees out right now. It is pretty chilly and I'm wearing shorts. So this is gonna be fantastic. Alrighty, so here we are uh, at the pond. It is mega shallow and I'm not seeing any fish at all. Not even like a slight little bluegill or anything. And usually there's a bunch right over here. But I mean, the water is slightly stained. Uh, it was just raining and I've got this little jig on. So I might as well throw this while I'm at it. But like this is, whoo. Is like as shallow as it's gonna get compared to what I have been fishing. This is whoo. I should be at least able to see like a small bass, but nothing. Oh yeah, but by the way guys, this is uh, the pond in my neighborhood. You might recognize it if you saw my first video. Right, I just get it stuck into another tree. All right, so my explanation in the video here is complete and utter garbage because I can't speak. So basically what I wanted to say was thank you guys so much on the support in the last Florida videos. I greatly appreciate all the, you know, likes and the comments that people are, you know, saying and the criticism and or constructive criticism that people have been saying at like my school and stuff like that. I just, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And I just wanted to say thank you. Just last week, this, uh, this pond was completely frozen over, so I wasn't able to fish it at all. It kind of sucked, because that means that I couldn't catch any three inch bass. All of them were tucked away under the ice. Actually, this water's fairly clear for it raining literally yesterday. Please don't tell me that I just lost this jig. <sighs> Goodbye. God, well that sucks. There we go. Watermelon red. Trick worm on a why not weighted hook. This is this is still frozen. This is frozen here. See, this is all frozen. It's frozen in Georgia. All of this is all just frozen. <laughs> and it's 44 degrees out. This water is freezing. Let's see if I can't do something with this trick worm. So guys, this pond has been extremely bad with you know the fish in it. I mean, yeah, there's bass in here. Yeah, they're like, you know, biggest one I think I've caught out of here was like a hot one and a half pounds. They're not big. This pond isn't deep either. It's about six to 11 feet according to the uh, manager of the pond. And the bass in here he stocked was a long time ago and they were all tiny. So unfortunately there's nothing really in here for these bass to feed on. They're kind of just at a stand still on stuff to eat. Granted, there's bluegill in here, but they're all giant because people, they're all giant because people come in here and throw bread in the water for the turtles and the geese and ducks, and then the bluegill come up and eat it before the ducks come, and they just get giant. And unfortunately, the bass can't eat them because the bass don't get that big. So I went and got goldfish once or twice and brought them in here, but it was only like, you know, a dozen goldfish and they were gone in like, you know, not even a day. So I want to try and make a series where I try to 
bring this pond back. This pond, I'd love to make it to where, you know, people can catch fish. So I was thinking about making a series on the channel where I go and try to make this pond suitable for life, like some good sized bass. I've got word from the manager he used to stock, which I'm actually gonna email him later trying to see you know, if I can help them stock with it or stock myself. So, you know, that's an idea I might have. Because in the fall, this was actually not bad. You can catch fish, like over the summer and the fall, you used to be able to catch quite a bit of fish out of here. But now there's just nothing. All right, well, this spot was a bust. Let's go try somewhere else. Sick park job, dude. This is, wow. Wow. And we are at spot number two. This is actually two ponds that are fairly close to each other. Right, I guess I'll start at this first one and I'll go to the next one in a little bit. So, I'll see y'all when I get there. Oh, this water's dirty. Oh, this stuff is like, ooh. This stuff is like really dirty. I don't really know how well this uh, this color is gonna work in here with how dark and stained this water is. I might change it to something that's a bit darker or brighter. Can I get up on some like neon green, neon green or neon yellow uh, you know, worms? That would be nice. Thank you, hit me up. Oh, these are hollow. I didn't even know that, that's neat. Oh, sweet. I had no idea these were hollow. Oh yeah, can you all like hit me up with some like flavored, flavored worms, please? I'd greatly appreciate it. Alrighty guys, welcome to the third pond. Hopefully there's some fish in here because the last pond had absolutely nothing. This one's not as big as the last one. Doesn't mean that it doesn't have anything in it, really. Bunch of fishing line. Just a friendly reminder guys, if you find any just loose line anywhere, just reel it around your hand and pick it up because this is just creating litter. And you never know what you can find at the end of it. There we go, there's a little worm hook. See, I cleaned up stuff and I got an extra hook, all right? So this is gold. This is a gold, golden day for me, all right? Cause I mean, boom, free worm hook, am I right? There's gotta be like a fish off this little point. This looks so crisp, come on. 